G'day, I'm the Snake Artist. I'm here at Steam Fest. Steam Fest is an annual Tasmanian three-day event that features steam engines and celebrates the 19th and 20th century culture, as well as the fun of the steampunk movement. It is this steam-themed festival that Lady Jennifer and myself are putting on a reptile art and education display. The challenge is to complete a painting while constantly being stopped to answer questions. I'll share here my approach to acrylic painting in a public place on plywood. I use a clear coat to seal in the wood or a clear gesso and this lets the wood grain show throughout the final painting. I start with the dark value. It looks black. It's actually burnt umber and paints grey. Next I'll use lighter browns and lighter colours to mark out some detail. I don't get much further than this on the first day because people are so interested. I am flat out talking to people, giving out important information about venomous snakes. This could be the first year I fail at finishing the painting on time. Lady Jennifer goes roving with her lovely lizards. Now this is always popular with both adults and kids. People get a positive contact with blue tongue lizards and they get to touch a non-venomous reptile, which makes them feel better about reptiles. Second day I need to swap out my top hat for a fedora because things are getting hot and I'm probably getting a bit burnt on the first day. And I've worked on the background some more. I put lighter colours on the steampunk snake putting in sort of cogs and wheels and sort of things that look a bit steampunky. There are some amazing displays at Steamfest and steam engines being restored to working condition always look amazing. As well as a lot of other fun uh, and interesting things loosely based on the 19th century. I'm getting most of these paintings done in the mornings and the evenings when there's not as many people around but still I'm always willing to stop and help people understand snakes better. The white highlights is what I put on second last. It's one of my favourite parts. I'm really trying to make the snake's head stand out from the rest of the background. And I love putting on white highlights on things anyway, it's just fun. Jennifer's a great help in the pit and the tiger snakes are so comfortable around her and she's letting people touch the bigger lizards as touching tiger snakes is not a very good idea for the untrained. The snakes are enjoying a good explore and having fun on the tightrope. It is the end of the last day and I'm using dry brush technique to add steam to the painting. Dry brush technique is where your brush almost runs out of paint and instead of reloading it with more paint, you just continue and you rub out the paint, pressing it on, smudging it around, giving a smoky effect. To finish up with, I put some bright blue in the snake's goggles, like a light coming from the goggles, and more dry brush technique. I finish up the last hour on the last day. Apart from Steamfest being a fun family day, people also got to see snakes like they've never seen them before. 
a lot of people were going away saying those snakes are really cute. And when I hear that, I feel my job is done.